Continuing coverage now you can count on. New details tonight about the vehicle that killed a construction worker yesterday on Dauphin Island Parkway. Mobile police say the vehicle that hit Clay Crutcher, a John Walton construction employee, is owned by Bishop State. Charges have not been filed against the driver, but as News 5's Mary Smith reports, the construction company's owners hope that changes. Police say that they're continuing their investigation into that fatal accident that happened out here yesterday morning. Unfortunately, this is not the first time the John Walton Construction Company has faced this type of tragedy. He was a hard worker and, and, and you know, he, he was just a great, great guy. Did a, never had a moment's problem. He was always on top of things. And this is 40-year-old Clay Crutcher hit and killed by a Bishop State Community College vehicle Wednesday morning. It happened here on Dolphin Island Parkway in a construction zone. Police say the vehicle was heading southbound through the work zone, hitting Crutcher. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time the company and Walton family have dealt with tragedy. It's like living a nightmare all over again. They lost their son, who was also an employee at their company the same way back in 2015. Marshall Walton was hit and killed by a driver on U.S. Route 45 while working. My son was my heart. Um, he was everything that any mother would ever want. At the time, a vehicular manslaughter law in Alabama had been repealed. So with the help of state legislators, the Waltons came up with the Marshall James Walton Memorial Highway Safety Act, making vehicular homicide a Class C felony under certain circumstances. Governor Ivey signed it into law in 2017. And that was the whole purpose of this law was to help. It didn't help our situation but it would help the next families. While the person who killed their son walked away without any legal consequences, they hope the outcome is different this time. Bishop State Community College says that it is cooperating with police and it sends its condolences to Clay Crutcher's family. Reporting from Dolphin Island Parkway, I'm Mary Smith, WKRG News 5.